The hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, إِنَّ الْقَبْرَ أَوَّلُ مَنَازِلِ الْآخِرَةِ The grave is the first part of the hereafter, of the Day of Judgment. If he or she is saved from the punishments and torments of the grave, then whatever is after it is going to be better and easier. He'll be saved from more bigger things. If he is not saved from the torments and punishments of the grave, then whatever is going to come after that is going to be worse. My brothers and sisters in Islam, when a person goes to the grave, the Prophet ﷺ tells us, he or she takes with them three things. One stays and two return. The Prophet ﷺ said, your family and your wealth return. What stays with you are your deeds. Your good and bad deeds. Because that's what's going to determine where you're going to be and what's going to happen to you in your grave. The Prophet ﷺ indicates or tells us that the dead people visit each other in their grave. For he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when you bury your dead, then make their kafan, make their shroud nice and put on beautiful fragrance to them, make them presentable. For the people of the grave yatazawarun, they visit one another. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that a person who is being punished in their grave, the animals can hear him or her. Aisha radiallahu anha said, Two old Jewish women entered my house one time in Medina because they were neighbors. And they said to me, the people of the grave get punished inside their graves. So I said to them, you are lying. This is not true. People in their graves don't get punished. Then they left. Then the Prophet ﷺ entered and I said, Ya Rasulullah, two old women from the Jews came to me and said, the people of the grave get, are getting punished in their graves. The Prophet ﷺ said, Sadaqata, innahum yu'adhabuna adhaban tasma'uhu al-baha'im. They spoke the truth, those two Jewish women. The people of the grave who are getting punished, they get punished until the animals can hear them. So the human beings and the jinns can't hear them, but the animals can hear them every now and then. Now, I don't mean to scare you, but it is our deeds which inevitably decide what the status of our graves are going to be like. Either a garden from the gardens of paradise or a pit from the pits of hellfire. So the Prophet ﷺ himself is to say, أعوذ بالله من عذاب القبر. Oh my Lord, I seek your protection from the punishment of the grave. And this is what we should be doing as well. صحبي هيا أقبل جارا يملأ الأكوان نورا واضيا والتحايا لبنات رابع أنتم اليوم نجوما في السماء أنتم اليوم نجوما في السماء وسعيتم للفلاح جاهدين وتعاونتم بحب وإخاء ربي بلغهم ثواب الصابرين